Hey guys, Abertrack here. I just wanted to give you a little video on this uh, $500 mill machine I picked up uh, a couple weeks ago. Hoping to have it uh, operational this weekend. So I'm really excited about that. It's a Sunstrand number one rigid mill. Um, I got the manual for it online. Um, I don't know there's I tried to find one on YouTube that was working or running and I couldn't I couldn't find anything this might end up being the only one on YouTube or it might only who knows might only be the last only one in the world who knows <laughs> um, but I about got it painted I've been chipping away at it um, came with these uh came with all these cutters so I was really thankful for that and uh, there's some more cutters there <clears throat> I'm not sure why but all the cutters they gave me are matching sets so I don't know how they how that works but uh, not sure what they were using them for but uh, yeah so it's a I think it's wired for 440 right now so I got a I got a wire to 220, and then I'm gonna order the uh, phase converter. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, so that should be in by Friday. Um, I took all the oil out of it, so like that down there holds seven gallons. Um, seven gallons there, then uh, you gotta fill up that with oil, and then there's one more place. Uh, oh no, that's it. Those just those two. So. But yeah, she's coming along. Um, I gotta fix the sight glasses, so I got this stuff here. Hope that works. Cleaned up the uh, so yeah, I came and then it came with all these pieces here. And, I mean, it looks to be in pretty good shape, really, from what I can tell. Um, I mean, this is my first milling machine, but I do have another one coming uh, next week or the week after. And it's a pretty big boy. It's about 6,000 pounds. It's an old, old one. Uh, it's a Milwaukee number three, I think, but I can't think of the maker. And that one's going to be pretty big gamble, but I couldn't pass up on the price. I mean, they're going to deliver it to me. I just have to figure out how to get it uh, basically from where that car is to in my garage 6,000 pounds so see how that goes and that's a that's a vertical one so but yeah I hope to uh, have this going this weekend and I don't know see what kind of trouble we can get into with it Hopefully uh, wiring this back to 220 is not going to be a huge deal. We'll have to see. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Maybe maybe you guys could help me. I don't know if you rewire it from there or if I'm going to have to re or if you rewire it from the actual motors. So I guess I guess you probably would rewire it from the actual motors. yeah so this is a step up in technology for me because my lathe over there that's uh, from 1919 it's about the same it's about the same year this forklift so I don't know but for $500 I felt like I couldn't pass it up so Really excited to get it going. Alright, guys, well, I just want to give you a little update on it, and hopefully, this weekend I can make a video of messing up metal. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.